I'm going to show you how to create atmosphere using smoke in this tutorial. Now for this I have a shot of a dingy, grungy looking room that might need some mist or some smoke. It might be good for sort of a suspenseful image. So I took a shot here that I got from iStockphoto.com and it's a shot of smoke against a black background. You can buy shots like this on almost any stock site. An easy way to create smoke using this image on to an image below it is just to set the layer blending mode to screen and what happens is anything that is black is not shown and anything that is white is shown so you see I have smoke here showing through and I can move it around and uh, get the effect that I want and as long as it's set on screen anything dark will not show through absolute black will not show through at all now if it's a little bright it will show through and if I want to tweak this a little bit with an image, what I can do is I can adjust the levels on this image. And I can do that uh, just by hitting Control L. And that'll bring up the levels dialog. And in order to give less smoke and a more refined look to it, I just take the black input level slider and drag it over to the right. And it reduces the amount of smoke. I can take the mid slider and drag it a little bit as well. And you'll see it starts cutting in on it because what it's actually doing is darkening the overall image and reducing the amount of white. And I can tweak it a little bit in that way to just thin out the smoke if I want. But I'm going to show you some more techniques that I might use. I'm going to get rid of that. And I'm going to show you here is a layer of fabric. This is actually a shot of just some wool fabric, some white wool. And I'm going to use this for smoke by adding a layer mask to it. Going to edit fill with black. By the way, if you're not familiar with using layer masks, I encourage you to check out the tutorial on layer masks. Uh, and I'm going to assume that you know how to use them. For this one, I'm going to, now that I have it entirely blacked out, get a brush. Take the opacity down to about 18%. Make sure I have white as my foreground color. And then what I'm going to do is just paint onto that layer mask. Using a pen, you can vary the amount that you're painting. And uh, with pen pressure, you can kind of control a little bit more what your mist is going to look like. But as I paint this in, you can see how this could be useful for adding smoke more in the background and choosing where it's going to be thicker rather than using a shot that's already been shot and is uh, not as easy to to mold and model. Now what I'm finding here though as my smoke gets thicker my pattern showing through and it's maybe a little bit more than I want. See the pattern is going to give our smoke some texture rather than it looking like flat white paint. Uh, but this is a little more texture than what I want so what I'm going to do is go in here to filter blur Gaussian blur and I'm just going to give it about a three radius blur hit OK and you'll now see I have a mist or a smoke with some texture in it but the texture is not overly obvious and that blur kind of calmed it down. I'm going to show you one more technique and that is I'm going to create a new layer. I'm going to fill this layer with black and now that this layer is entirely black I'm going to go up to the filter while that layer is selected go to render and select difference clouds that'll automatically create some randomized difference clouds and it'll make the clouds white because my background is black and there are difference clouds and what I can do now is similar to the technique we used in the first image is set this to screen mode you'll see now I have all kinds of smoke and it's kind of everywhere maybe I don't want it everywhere so I can just apply a layer mask if I like and I can use the masking technique here and this time though I'd like it to be black instead of white and I'm just going to paint black in and wherever I paint black it'll reduce the amount of smoke and I can just control it in that way and that's if you don't have access to any textures you don't have access to any images of smoke that you can use easily this is a way to create some mist that still looks pretty good and pretty realistic. So I hope these techniques helped you in creating some atmospheres and different kinds of smoke and mist. There's a lot of different tweaking you can do for it. I recommend that you practice using the uh, smudge tool over here to give your smoke a little more texture. You can use it to give some twirls to your smoke and whatnot. And you can check out stock shots, shoot your own shots of real smoke and integrate them into your image. And it's very easy to do and it adds a great atmosphere to it.